Hey everybody, it's Dustin, uh, Tidewaters Fishing. We're going to do the, uh, the cooking portion of this catch and cook. I happened to catch a, a small flounder a couple trips back, um, like my first cast. Uh, I'll fade to that, uh, showed a little segment uh, catching that fish. Oh, no finale. No finale this morning. <laughs> A little 14 inch flounder this morning, right off the bat. <laughs> How about that? There might be some on his bank. Alright. We're going to take that flounder and we're going to do a, a shrimp and crab meat stuffed flounder. And I'm going to do a little a tasso and shrimp cream sauce, kind of like a, a Cajun, like a Creole cream sauce to go over the top of that once we get done baking that um, flounder. So stick around and learn how to make this dish that I'm gonna prepare for you right now. All right, we're gonna get started on the, the stuffing part of this dish. Um, what I got here, I got some, got some real fine diced red bell pepper, some fine diced green bell pepper, some chopped green onions, some chopped sweet onions. I have some lump crab meat and some, uh, some chopped shrimp. It's about a half a cup of each of that. I'll, I'll put the recipe um, in down in the description of the video below. And uh, we're going to get started, get my pan hot, and then we're going to get going on this. I'm going to um, saute the vegetables along with some garlic and some herbs. I'm going to add some herbs at the last minute there. Uh, have some thyme, some tarragon, and some basil. Um, I'll dice those up and add that in after I cook um, all my uh, vegetables right here. I'm gonna saute all these together and add the shrimp and crab and then work in a, in a mixing bowl to add the panko breadcrumbs, some egg, lemon, and some butter, and salt, cracked black pepper, and some different seasonings. Uh, we'll get going on that. We're gonna move along to the saute pan and we're gonna get started on this, uh, this preparation. All right, I got the pan nice and hot right here. Um, just, I got uh, the camera focused in on the pan. We're gonna do the saute of the vegetables right now. So go ahead and some extra virgin olive oil. Just enough to cut the bottom of the pan there. And then we're gonna slosh it around, coat the pan. We're gonna start out with some of the onions. I'd probably say about a quarter cup of onions. Same thing, bell peppers. About a quarter cup there also. I'll have the recipe green bell, red bell and green bell. Get those saute in right there. black pepper, sea salt out, a little Cajun seasoning, like I like to use. You know I like this stuff right there. Good old all-purpose seasoning from Don's Specialty Meats right there. That's some top-notch stuff right there. All right, I'm gonna hit this with a little salt, black pepper. Starting to look good. I'm adding a little green onion in there too. A little chopped garlic. Ooh. Work that around a little bit. All right, here we go. We got some, some pretty, some lump crab meat, some shrimp. I'm gonna go in there. Hit it with a little, a little bit of that Don's, a little bit of that all-purpose Cajun seasoning right there. Stir it around. We cook them shrimp through. 
I'm gonna overcook them though. Uh, they're gonna stay moist inside the dressing. Alright, and then once this is done sauteing, uh, we're gonna let it cool a little bit and then we'll, we'll fold it in with some breadcrumbs, some butter, lemon juice, some of the fresh herbs. And an egg to help bind it together. And then uh, we'll put that together and we'll put that flounder together and get him in the oven. We'll stuff him. We'll let it cool down. let that cool down and then uh, we're gonna come back put the stuffing together and get the get the flounder stuffed get that taken care of all right once we got that uh shrimp and crab mixture with a veg cooled down a little bit uh, we're gonna add some some panko breadcrumbs not too much you don't want to get it too uh too much breading but you know half a cup or so just enough to, to bind it together. You know, we got an egg that we have mixed up. Add a little water to it. Add a little more panko to that. A little over half a cup probably in there. Good thing about being a chef, you don't really measure anything. You go by, kind of eyeball it, you know. Um, I'll get pretty close to what I'm doing uh, on the recipe down below for you guys. So, um, you know, that's it, that's that crab mixture. The sauteed veg, garlic, seasoning, salt, pepper, and some of the Don's. Um, add a little melted butter in there. It's probably about, uh, Two tablespoons of melted butter right there. We're gonna have that right there. And uh, I'm gonna get some, some of the fresh herbs in there. All right, we got the crab and veg mixture. Uh, we're gonna add some fresh herbs to it. I have some thyme right here. Uh, we're just, just pulled off of the little stalks. We're just gonna do a little, just mince it up a little bit, just enough to break it up and release some of this oils inside release some of that flavor throw it in there it's not even a half a teaspoon that's fresh so this is some fresh tarragon same thing just gonna chop it up and add it to it all right and then the basil what you're gonna do i just got two basil leaves that'll be plenty it's a little bigger one there. You uh, set them on top of one another and roll them up. And what cut this would be right here if you just left it in long ribbons would be a chiffonade. <laughs> There's some of your uh, knife skills 101 right there. <laughs> Don't cut with your fingers flat. You're supposed to tuck them. But now from there, see that's just long ribbons. That's called a chiffonade cut. But we're just gonna take that from there and just Cut them into small little pieces. All right, just gonna mix that together. And that's what you should have right there. Nice shrimp and crab stuffing. Uh, we're gonna put it inside that flounder. Just one second. All right, here we go. We got the flounder. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut him down his spine, just like that. Then we're gonna take and we're gonna carve a little pocket out along those bones in there. We'll make a little pocket for that stuffing to fit up in, just like so. 
Just fold them over just like that. Now, that stuffing's gonna have a pocket to go in there. Just like that. We're gonna stuff it all up in there. All right, we got the flounder with its pocket cut out. We're gonna put the fish on there. And we're gonna stuff that fish right now. We're gonna stuff that flounder. So we're gonna take the stuffing we have. So we're gonna season the inside. We're gonna season that cavity a little bit. A little bit of Don's inside of there. A little bit, there you go. All right, now we're gonna start adding that stuffing inside. Just like that. We're gonna lay that up over there. We're gonna pack that in there. Just like that right there. We're gonna get him packed in. We'll cut, put a couple of shrimp on top of it. Add a little extra to him. So let me get those shrimp and then we'll uh, get him ready to go in the oven. All right, got a couple of shrimp I'm gonna put on top. I'm gonna press them down into that stuffing like so. Then we're gonna take and we're gonna drizzle some uh, more <laughs> butter all over him right there. Drizzle some butter, look at that. That's just <laughs> Plenty of butter on there. All right, then we're gonna add some juice of some lemons on there too. Seeds get on there, it's all good. You're gonna move them away anyways, whenever you go to take it out. All right, then we're gonna season him up. And he's getting ready to go into a preheated oven, 400 degrees. Uh, it's a smaller flounder. It could take anywhere from uh, 35, 45 minutes. So uh, we'll pull him out and check him, um, keep you updated on that. So um, we're gonna get him in the oven, check him out. So what it should look like right there. All right, there he is. Stuffed and ready to go. We're gonna move him into the oven and start baking. Check her out. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good right there. About to start on that little Creole Tasso shrimp sauce. Got some of our ingredients here. We got some green onions, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, shallots, and some Tasso. Same thing, seasoning. Don's salt, pepper. We're gonna start out with olive oil. We'll heat the pan up right here and we're gonna get going. All right, here we go. Pan's getting nice and hot. Uh, start with a little olive oil. Mm, we'll throw the shallots in. Shallots. Red bell pepper. A little bit, you know, you don't need much. It's only for one, one portion right here, so. Uh, now it's probably a tablespoon. Same thing, green bell pepper. It's enough to make a little, one little pan sauce. You know, it'll be all good. Gonna saute those. some Cajun Tasso, that's uh, the Cajun Spice smoked ham. I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there. Then we're gonna add a shrimp. I got some shrimp going in right there. Hit it 
get a little, just a little bit of salt. You know that that is going to have a little saltiness to it anyways. So a little bit of salt, some cracked black pepper. Some tons. <laughs> like Cajun seasoning right there. Ah. Run away. Alright, I'm gonna let that I'm gonna deglaze with a little white wine. Uh, add some lemon juice and some butter and a little heavy cream. Cheap oak leaf chardonnay. We're gonna deglaze the pan real quick. The white wine. Add a little bit of lemon juice in there. I have some left over, so a little bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna reduce that down. I'm gonna put a little bit of have some butter to put in. Um, probably a couple tablespoons full. Probably two two tablespoons on this. Turn that heat down, melt that butter slow. Then we're gonna add a little bit of heavy cream to it, break it together. It comes out of the oven. It's about to come out right now. We're gonna plate it up. We're gonna try it out. All right, I'm gonna make a little garnish. I'm gonna see if I can still do this stuff that I used to do back in the day. <laughs> Let's see. Just gonna take and we're gonna punch this. Punch this lemon. You're gonna alternate punching that lemon all the way into the middle your point of the knife to make a little lemon crown <laughs> I don't know how many of these I used to make back in the day a lot of them <laughs> way back on St. Simons Island Georgia taking it old school right there <laughs> prime rib night steak and lobster you had to do a ton of these things Let's see how it goes <laughs> lemon crown, lemon crown. All right, we're gonna plate this flounder up. Uh, there he is, coming off the, coming off the pan right there. Oh, a little piece of tarragon right there. All right. Tasso. Also, shrimp sauce looking money, boy. There you go. Right there. That's what you got. Shrimp and crab stuffed flounder with a Creole shrimp and tasso cream sauce. Catch and cook, uh, chef style right there. I'm gonna get down to grubbing that right there. Once again, I wanna thank you. Thank you for joining in. It's Dustin, uh, Tidewaters Fishing. 
Um, hope you enjoyed this segment. And uh, I got some more videos coming. I got on a good top water bike this morning. Uh, nothing like fishing in February in shorts and catching solid trout on top water. This time of year, it's, it's crazy. Uh, we had a really weird winter and uh, now it's starting to warm up. We're starting to see some solid action. So I'm uh, very excited about that. So I'm gonna get to grubbing on this. And then also I wanna mention, um, trying to get a few more subscribers. Um, what I got, uh, uh, my uh, the rods that I use, Waterloo Rod Company. Uh, Jimmy Burns hooks me up with some, some sick custom rods. Um, you'll see me using them in my videos. Um, but uh, I got a few hats and uh and buffs to give away we're gonna do a um try to build my subscriber base so i think i'm at like 62 or 63 right now so we're gonna build that up um when i get to 100 i'm gonna give away one of these hats and buffs and then when i get to 200 i'm gonna give another hat and buff away so there's what you got right there got a camo waterloo trucker hat and a buff and you got another Got a khaki colored one, kind of original style with a buff. So check those out. Go to uh, waterlooRods.com and check out his custom rods if you're in the Texas area, actually, or he can ship. We also have those custom corkies uh, that you've seen some of my videos catching some of those fish. So, all right, now comes the time. I'm gonna give a little taste test on this. So see what we got a little bit of that meat and that stuffing look at that right there boy oh man that's gonna be good right there man you can't beat can't beat flounder i mean i love my my ahi i love my tuna um i love my snapper making ceviche with that and different dishes with snapper but man Fresh flounder is uh, really hard to beat. And then that that tasso gives a nice smoky flavor in that cream sauce with the shrimp. And then you got the crab stuffing, the fresh herbs, and your veg in there. So, man, this is pretty good stuff right here. Can't stop eating it. So, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, hope to put out a few more videos coming up soon. Um, if you need any, got any questions or comments, just uh, hit me up at the, in the comment section below. Leave some feedback. Subscribe, like, share the videos. Hopefully, we can get this out there. I'm trying to trying to build my little subscriber base. So um, I'd appreciate if you share these videos and help me get get the word out there. So thanks again for tuning in, Dustin Tidewater's Fishing. You.